Why Did I Ever, is a novel written by Mary Robison and published in 2001. The story revolves around a middle-aged woman named Money Breton, who struggles to make sense of her life and relationships while battling depression and addiction. Through a fragmented and stream-of-consciousness narrative style, the novel explores themes of identity, isolation, and the search for meaning in a chaotic world. The novel's structure is nonlinear and disjointed, with each chapter consisting of short, disconnected paragraphs that jump between different moments in Money's life. The narrative voice is often unreliable, as Money's thoughts and perceptions are filtered through her depression and drug use. The use of short, declarative sentences and repetition creates a sense of urgency and instability, mirroring Money's own state of mind. At the heart of the novel is Money's struggle to connect with others and find a sense of belonging. She is estranged from her ex-husband, Jack, and their two children, and her relationships with her friends and colleagues are fraught with tension and mistrust. Money's attempts to reach out to others are often met with rejection or indifference, leaving her feeling even more isolated and alone. Money's sense of identity is also deeply troubled, as she struggles to reconcile her past and present selves. She is haunted by memories of her abusive father and her own past mistakes, and her attempts to escape these demons through drugs and alcohol only exacerbate her sense of disconnection from the world around her. Despite the bleakness of Money's situation, there are moments of humor and absurdity throughout the novel. Money's job as a Hollywood script doctor provides a darkly comedic backdrop, as she is forced to navigate the egos and eccentricities of the film industry while struggling with her own demons. The novel also plays with language and form in playful ways, such as the chapter titled Lists, which consists entirely of disconnected items and observations. Ultimately, the novel suggests that meaning and connection are elusive and fragile, and that the search for them can be both comic and tragic. Money's journey is marked by false starts and dead ends, but there are moments of grace and connection that hint at the possibility of redemption. As she reflects at one point, I've spent a lot of time trying to figure out what it all means. I mean, why did I ever come here? But then sometimes, sometimes there's something, you know. Something that makes you think maybe it's worth it after all. Robeson's use of fragmented language and nonlinear narrative structure serves to mirror the chaos and disconnection of money's inner world. By challenging traditional notions of narrative coherence and linear progression, the novel invites readers to consider the ways in which our own lives are shaped by fragmentation and uncertainty. Through money's struggle to find meaning and connection, why Did I Ever offers a poignant and often humorous meditation on the human condition.